Welcome to the channel guys, this is Jimmy Timmy here. Today we're gonna to be doing a visual mod on my 2013 Dodge Charger RT. We have the G2 Caliper Paint Kit in bright white finish to match my car's finish. It's a very simple mod, it's a very easy mod you can do at home that won't break your bank. For around $60 you can completely enhance the look of your wheels. Uh, we're gonna look into what we need to get started. Stay tuned. All right guys, here in the G2 Caliper Paint Kit we have A generic non chlorinated brake cleaner for your brakes. Prep work. We have a decal in here and a paintbrush it comes with. I do not recommend using this paintbrush as the bristles do fall off pretty easily. So I'm going to be using one of my wife's art paintbrushes. And the last thing we have in here is the actual paint. So I got a new light and the activator for the paint. All right, guys. Here we have the activator, the actual caliper paint, and the brake cleaner. I'm going to use just a standard toothbrush to clean the brakes with in preparation for the painting process. So let's get started. All right, guys. So we ran into a little problem. I haven't tried to take my aftermarket wheels off since I've had them put on, and the lug wrench I have will not fit without scratching those wheels. So what we're going to try to do is go and get a torque wrench with some um, thinner socket sockets to fit and to get this get this wheel off so we can get on with the tutorial. All right, guys. As you can see, we finally got my wheels off. The car is on jack stands. So those are the little calipers. And then we're about to get started cleaning the old calipers to prep it for the paint. Alright guys, we're about to start cleaning the calipers here and I'm just going to read the directions really quickly. It says, liberally spray brake parts with contents and allow to run off. What you want to do is cover the plastic pieces to avoid any corrosion on those. Here you have a plastic cap back here and another one back here. So we're just going to be careful of those. I'm not going to tape those off because I'm pretty careful. I have a steady hand. So we're going to go ahead and get to it and start cleaning this caliper. And you really want to be generous with it. A lot of the brake dust gets on these calipers. You want to make sure you have a very clean surface before applying any paint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with this brush, just a soft bristle brush, just to kind of assist in getting some of that dirt off. And then after that, we're going to wipe it down with a microfiber towel. Once you use a microfiber towel to wipe these down, you want to go ahead and get rid of that microfiber towel. You don't want to put that back on your paint another time. And we'll check in with you guys after we finish cleaning these calipers. What I'm about to do now is we're going to tape off these, this part of the rotor so we can get to the caliper without getting any overpaint on the on the rotor or the brake pad. So we're going to go ahead and tape it off. You can watch that. Once you have them taped off, we'll start the painting process. Don't try to sit home, kids. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there we have our paint. We're about to go ahead and mix the reactor in with it. And then we'll get the paint. Alright, go ahead and mix the reactor in with the paint. The whole bottle, you can check that out if it's cool. And now we're going to mix it. Guys, okay, so in the directions, it said to go ahead and stir the reactor into the paint, let it sit for five minutes, and then we can go ahead and start painting. So if you can come in closer, that's what it looks like when you mix the reactor. Not really much difference. But you want to make sure you stir it thoroughly, you get it well incorporated. And then we're going to go ahead and let that sit for about five minutes. All right, guys, we're about to start painting the brake calipers now. We have our paint here, have our paintbrush. This is not the one that came with the kit, like I said. Those hairs tend to fall off, so you want to go ahead and get you one that's better rated for painting so you don't mess up your finish at all. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'll show you the product after I do the first coat.
All right, guys, this is what we're working with so far. We have two coats of the G2 caliper paint on the calipers. I think it's looking really good. It's matching the paint pretty well. Um, I might do a third coat because it's still a little bit of spotty area. So yeah, the next clip you'll see will be the finished product and then we'll put the wheels back on the car and see how it looks. All right, guys, we're here with the finished product. We have three coats of the G2 caliper paint. And you guys, I could not be more happy with how these turned out. It looks so clean, so smooth, so nice. And it's really, really close to the original paint color. Um, I believe this Dodge color is called Bright White. But as you can see, it just looks awesome. So I'm gonna get some more shots of the car with the wheels back on after this finished curing. And then I'll give you my full review on how it looks with the wheels on. And if you're curious, the wheels I'm running on my 2013 Dodge Charger RT all-wheel drive are these Verde V20 20x9 rims. They're in the satin black finish. I just finished cleaning those so I can get some good after pictures with the new calipers. But yeah, those are the wheels I'm running. And honestly, guys, I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. All right, guys, it's been about 24 hours now. The car calipers have been curing for about 24 hours. Um, as listed in the instructions and here's the reveal so those are the calipers to me it looks absolutely awesome as you can see I'm doing kind of a black and white theme with my car I have the black roof the black hood side mirrors gas cap and the trunk also with the blacked out tail light <clears throat> and I think the white accents with the wheels really really compliment so I do want to cover a few things that I didn't cover in the video with the caliper paint as you can see as well in the video I ended up removing some of the tape I had previously put on the rotors to protect them from the paint and that's because it really got in the way as far as my calipers they're kind of um, close to the rotors a bit too close to where I couldn't reach the back of the caliper to paint it. So if you're taping off your rotors, I, I suggest you know being very, very careful with how you tape along the caliper line so you can make sure you get to all of the caliper fairly. Thing easy. being um, the ease of use with this product. Um, the paint is a bit thin, but as far as going on and self-leveling as they claim, um, it works great. The, the finish looks amazing. Um, there's no runs in the paint. It looks really, really good, really clean, and I give it a five out of five as far as using. And Overall, guys, I really, really love how these turned out. Um, the the end finish, it looks amazing. Like I said, the product usability is really, really easy. Anyone can do this at home. Don't be afraid to go ahead and go for it if you're thinking about doing it. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video for more videos. Hit that bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I have a lot planned for this car. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.